Hey everybody, Jace Allen here. Welcome back to the Guitar Dungeon. And on this episode, we're playing around with the Mellow Audio MIDI Commander MIDI pedal. So stick around. So I've been kind of searching for the sort of the ultimate looper and uh, music looper for guitar and vocals and I've played around with a lot of loopers and I decided on a software looper that I run on my iPhone called Quanti Loop. It's a great uh, looper. You can integrate audio applications like bias effects and uh, like drum apps and things like that and you can run them inside the looper and everything's synchronized. The problem is is you need a pedal to go along with your looper uh, in order to control them. I mean, you can control it from the screen but it just doesn't work quite as well especially if you want to use it hands-free. And so one of the solutions that I came up with was this uh, MIDI pedal from Mellow Audio available on Amazon uh, called MIDI Commander. Uh, there are a lot of MIDI pedals available, uh, but most of them don't have the amount of buttons that this one does. Now two of these buttons are to select banks, so they're not really uh, programmable as uh, MIDI buttons. So you have eight, and I think uh, sort of the, the other ones I looked at, I think there was a four button and a six button that were available as like, and some of those were Bluetooth with, you know, I'm not so sure how, uh, like a fast response time you get with Bluetooth, I don't know. Uh, but I know that this one uses a uh, MIDI cable. You can plug it in through USB too, but I'm, I'm not sure exactly how that works with the, uh, with a tablet or the iPhone. So I have a uh, Universal Audio Volt 2 uh, audio interface and I've, I'm running it through uh, USB-C into an adapter on my on my iPhone see the adapter there you can kind of see it and that uh, turns you know so you can plug a USB device into and then the uh, Universal Audio Volt 2 has a MIDI input and output and so how does it work well works pretty good but there are some limitations and the limitations are sort of the point of this video because it it, it controls the program fine but the limitations that it has kind of limit you in a way and it removes some of the functionality of the looper which I think is important so I'm not sure that this is necessarily the best solution but we're going to play around with it and show you how it works. Okay, so now in Quanti Loop, I've got it set up so I can play a rhythm pattern through this uh, app here called uh, Funk Drummer, which actually has the best tone drum tones in it, I think. So then I can play along with the guitar. Then, what you do is, so you've got your uh, pedal hooked up to the audio interface through the MIDI cable, and you come in here and you go MIDI in, and MIDI control assignments, and then you can, uh, you can add, program the pedal to do what you want. So we're going to play record dub on track one, which I ha already have it. And if you hit learn, you just tap the button that you want on the MIDI commander. And it learns it. And then you save it. And I've done that for track one, track two, uh, start and stop drum loop, uh, start and stop everything globally, and then a uh, clear I think yeah I think so 
So anyway, what you want to be able to do when you're playing is I usually just start a loop. So we'll go one, two, three, four. A little sloppy there, but. So anyway, Quantity Loop is cool because it automatically sort of learns the beats per minute that you're playing in, so then I can just start the drums. And it waits until, it, there it goes, waits until it gets synced. I think A. That sounds pretty good. Okay, so then you can start and stop the drums with a single press. You can stop the loop with a double press. So the one issue that I have with this pedal is that you can't clear with a long hold. You can't do long holds on this pedal. So if you're looping, usually what you do is say you Say you record, you go to record. Shoot, you mess up. You stop it, then you want to hold it to, to clear it. Well, you can't. This pedal won't do long holds. Which the app will do. The app will do a long hold. So that was the issue that I found with this pedal is that it won't do long holds. So in order to sort of make it work, which is kind of a workaround, you program some of the other pedals to do uh, clear. So what I did was, I stop, start. If you look at this one, it says stop, start. And okay, that's not the one. So then you do, you do assign, you do learn, and we'll do the, we'll do four as our start stop. And then you tell it, and it's a, it's actually latching on this one. I don't know why, but it's not momentary. Because momentary actually has the long hold in it, which doesn't work on this pedal. So you go to action and you do, undo, redo, clear, clear track. So then you do clear, currently armed track. Or you can clear everything. You can do a uh, clear all. So you could either do a clear, the track that's armed, or clear all. Well, clear all is helpful when, you, when you're finished with that song and you want to clear everything out and move on to the next one. But if you mess up, you just want to clear a track and so see you can see the complication where you need all of a sudden you need all these buttons in order to just be able to loop so let's just let's just do clear all for this one so say you're playing oops so you mess up stop it and then you clear so then that worked, you, you were able to clear it. But like I said, it, it makes it kind of cumbersome because you don't get that long, that long hold where you can program things to do what you want them to do. So does it work? Yes, I think it works. It uh, definitely works with bias effects. You can control, you know, you can use it to learn 
how to turn on your effects, your reverb, your distortion, whatever. So it works really great with bias effects, and I guess it works good with uh, like the modeling amps and the Line 6 pedals and kind of the Kemper type software amp emulations, and you can use it to control those and control amps that have a lot of functionality in them, but they need a pedal in order to, to, for you to access it. Because it's really built for just on off, that's basically it doesn't have that ability to do the long press and that's what it's missing and so hope you found this video useful and I'm going to shoot uh, another video that is uh, sort of a companion to this video where we solve the long press issue by creating our own MIDI pedal so thanks for tuning in and we'll see you next time